Hello, Mr. Greg Wilson, ye of little faith. I have finally dug out all of my stuff from when I went to Italy when I was 11 and visited my relatives in Lucca. And uh, I'm going to show you this evidence and you can judge for yourself if it is true or a fabrication. First, let us look at the map of Italy. You'll notice here's Rome. And then right up here is the city of Lucca. I don't know if you can see that. It's in northern Italy. Right near it is Pisa, which is an airport we could possibly fly into if we went to this festival convention thing you're talking about. Anyway, all right. So I found this information. You'll notice that I have really crappy photos that uh, an 11-year-old boy would take. This was the, like, you know, right before we left. We went on British Airways. Uh, and then, there, oh, there's the plane again. And there's a bunch of other crappy pictures, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we'll call those uh, Exhibit A. Here's some pictures from uh, the Duomo in Florence. You know, the Duomo, very famous, very beautiful, much, very crappy, you know, 11-year-old boy pictures. Oh, uh, here's some stuff from Rome. That's my Aunt Marlene. No picture of me. Uh, Coliseum. I took these. They're pretty crappy, but you know, that's life. And then we have uh, some more crappy pictures and some more crappy pictures. And what's this? We'll call this Exhibit C. It's uh, an Italian uh, Easter card. And look, it says Something about uh, Rosemary and Emily, Jeunesse, as you can read that, Beatty, Nevada. And my relatives wrote that in 1986. I went, we went in um, 84, but they were just wishing us, you know, happy, um, happy Easter. And the postmark on this, I really can't read that, but it is an Italian stamp. Now, uh, we're going to go to exhibit... Uh, D. Now this is a picture of a church in Lucca. That's a fountain in a church. And this is a postcard that my relatives sent us and it says, you know, um, that's, this is to my mom. But you can look on here and it says Lucca. Can you read that? Lucca. It's kind of hard to see, I guess, maybe. Luca il Duomo San Martino. And uh, you can see the Italian stamp. Anyway, that's uh, another exhibit. And then I have my best evidence, because all I have is for pictures that I could find a mirror. This little shadowy kid, and then this little kid right here, which is me, um, at the Vatican. But this, this is it right here, the big one, Greg. If you don't believe me now, this is a map of Luca that I got in 1984 when we went to the city. And I've saved it. You can see the big walls around it. And, you know, I just love this map. And it's hard to, uh, hard to fake that now, isn't it, Greg? So we went to Luca, and then we went to the mountains nearby where my, my grandfather's 300-year-old house was that he grew up in, where they tied up his donkey and all that. And it was far up in the mountains. Really, actually, not that far from Luca. Um, called, it's called Palignana. I couldn't actually find it on a map just now. But uh, that's my evidence. We have the pictures, the postcards, the one of Luca, and the map. And these really crappy pictures. My mom might have better pictures, but that's all I got. So either I'm a really, really good liar. Or back in 1984, when I was 11, my mom and my Uncle Reno and my, my Aunt Marlene and my Uncle Gino took me to Italy and we hung out in Lucca with my great, or not really, sort of, some sort of great uncle and aunt and then their kids. Uh, and their kids were Cherubino and then, or Cherubina, I should say, Cherubina, and then her daughter, Simone. And this... This card right here is from Simona. You can see her name, Simona, on there. But anyway, that's it, Greg. So, you know, we should totally go to Luca someday. It'd be totally awesome. I'm getting um, the information from my relatives who live there, and I think it would be great. So, 
there it is, my friend. 